In the vastness of time, civilizations rise and fall, leaving behind remnants of their existence etched into the very fabric of the earth. From the pyramids of Egypt, the towering ruins of Rome, to the mystical temples of Angkor, these ancient ruins whisper tales of glory, power, and the inevitable passage of time. Today, embark on a journey through time and witness the 25 most amazing ancient ruins of the world. We focus our attention on Gobekli Tepe in Turkey, a site of significant historical importance. This magnificent structure holds the title for the world's first temple, its origins dating back to approximately 9,600 BC. This ancient marvel not only predates Stonehenge by six impressive millennia, but also precedes the advent of agriculture, suggesting the intriguing possibility that worship might have predated farming. Our journey brings us right into the heart of the enigmatic Stonehenge in England, a spectacle that dates back to between 3000 and 2000 BC. The sheer enormity of these prehistoric stones, sourced from miles away, has confounded scientists for centuries. Its alignment with the solstices implies a sophisticated grasp of astronomy, adding to the monument's allure. Our journey takes us directly to the iconic Great Pyramids of Giza in Egypt, the sole survivor of the seven wonders of the ancient world. These grandiose tombs, erected approximately around 2600 BC, stand as a testament to the awe-inspiring architectural prowess of the ancient Egyptians. Now, let's focus our gaze on the Colosseum, a marvel standing tall in the city of Rome. This magnificent amphitheater, once the epitome of the Roman world, was built in the first century AD. With the capacity to accommodate 50,000 spectators, this grand structure is a true testament to the excellence of Roman engineering. In the heart of Peru, we arrive at the fascinating Machu Picchu. Perched high in the Andes, this 15th century Incan city stands resilient, untouched by the Spanish conquest. It is a living testament to the Incan's sophisticated urban planning and extraordinary architectural prowess. Our entire focus now is Angkor Wat in Cambodia, the world's largest religious monument. Constructed in the 12th century AD, this awe-inspiring site has a rich history. Originally erected as a Hindu temple, it later transitioned into a Buddhist site, a testament to the religious transformation of the region. Our journey now takes us to the heart of China, where one of the most astonishing archaeological discoveries of the 20th century lies. Welcome to the Terracotta Army, a vast collection of life-size statues crafted over 2,000 years ago to accompany China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang, into the afterlife. Buried in pits near the emperor's mausoleum, these statues, each with distinct facial features and expressions, represent a formidable yet silent army. They were crafted with such precision and detail that it's hard to believe they were made more than two millennia ago. The Terracotta Army is a profound testament to the power and ambition of China's first emperor and a fascinating glimpse into the artistic capabilities and societal structure of ancient China. It stands as a silent guardian of history, waiting patiently beneath the earth, ready to share its ancient secrets with those who dare to uncover them. As we leave the silent vigil of the Terracotta Army, we are reminded of the transience of power and the lasting legacy of art and culture. These statues, crafted with care and devotion, bear silent witness to the passage of time, standing as a stark reminder of a civilization that once was and its ambitions for eternity. As we bid farewell to the silent guardians of China, we journey westward to the arid landscapes of Jordan. Here, hidden amidst the rugged mountains and vast desert, lies the ancient city of Petra. Often referred to as the Rose City due to the color of the stone from which it is carved, Petra is a marvel of ancient architecture and engineering. The city's most iconic structure, al Khazneh or the Treasury, greets visitors with its ornate facade and grandeur a testament to the artistic prowess of the Nabataeans who carved this city out of solid rock around the first century BC. As we wander through the winding Seek or canyon, the city's complex water conduit system and the enormity of the rock-cut tombs and temples reveal the ingenuity and ambition of its builders. Despite its grandeur, Petra was lost to the Western world until it was rediscovered in 1812. Today, it stands as a symbol of resilience against the harshness of time and nature. As we leave the rose-colored stones of Petra, 
we carry with us the echoes of a civilization that thrived in the heart of the desert, a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of beauty and survival. As we depart from the rose-colored city of Petra, we journey further west to the cradle of Western civilization, Athens, Greece. Standing tall over the city, the Acropolis is a symbol of ancient Greek strength, culture, and wisdom. This ancient citadel, located on a rocky outcrop above the city, houses several ancient structures of great architectural and historic significance, the most famous among them being the Parthenon. Constructed during the 5th century BC, the Parthenon is a former temple dedicated to the goddess Athena, the patron goddess of Athens. Its Doric columns and intricate friezes display the height of classical Greek architecture, a testament to the artistic and architectural prowess of the Athenians. Besides the Parthenon, the Acropolis is home to other notable structures such as the Erechtheion, the Propylia, and the Temple of Athena Nike, each with its unique stories and historical significance. As we stroll around the Acropolis, the remnants of the ancient world whisper tales of heroic myths, philosophical wisdom, and dramatic theater that shaped Western civilization. As we leave this grand citadel, we carry with us the echoes of ancient Greece, a civilization that profoundly shaped the course of human history with its enduring contributions to philosophy, politics, arts, and sciences. As we bid farewell to the Acropolis, we journey further into the heart of ancient Greece. Our next destination is the Sanctuary of Olympia, the birthplace of the Olympic Games. Here once stood a monumental statue that was considered one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, the statue of Zeus at Olympia. Erected by the Greek sculptor Phidias in the 5th century BC, this colossal gold and ivory statue depicted Zeus, the king of the Greek gods, seated on a magnificent throne. The statue, which was over 12 meters tall, was so large that it almost touched the roof of the temple that housed it. The god's skin was made of ivory, his robes of gold, and his eyes of a radiant gemstone. In his right hand, Zeus held a small statue of crowned Nike, goddess of victory, and in his left, a scepter adorned with an eagle, the symbol of his dominion over the heavens. Unfortunately, this awe-inspiring wonder no longer exists. It was lost and destroyed in the 5th century AD, leaving behind only descriptions and depictions on coins. Yet, the memory of the statue and its grandeur continues to inspire awe and wonder. As we leave Olympia, we carry with us the spirit of the ancient games and the grandeur of Zeus, a reminder of the artistic brilliance and religious devotion of the ancient Greeks. As we leave the grandeur of Olympia behind, we venture eastwards to the banks of the Euphrates, where once stood one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. According to ancient texts, these were no ordinary gardens, but a remarkable feat of engineering and architecture. Built by the Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar II for his homesick wife Amatus, the gardens were said to be a spectacular sight, a green oasis amidst the desert, a paradise on earth. Constructed around 600 BC, the hanging gardens were not hanging in the sense we understand today. Rather, they were a series of tiered gardens, rising like a lush green mountain from the arid landscape. Exotic plants, trees, and flowers cascaded down stone terraces, fed by an ingenious irrigation system that pumped water from the Euphrates River. The gardens were a testament to the advanced engineering skills of the Babylonians and their love for beauty and nature. Yet, unlike other wonders of the ancient world, no definitive archaeological evidence of the hanging gardens has been found. They remain a mystery, their existence known only through second-hand accounts of ancient Greek and Roman writers. Some scholars even question whether they ever existed at all. Despite this, the hanging gardens of Babylon continue to captivate our imagination, a vanishing wonder that symbolizes the human desire to create beauty amidst the barren. As we say goodbye to this legendary wonder, we are reminded of the fleeting nature of human creations, the impermanence of glory, and the enduring power of stories and myths that continue to inspire us. As we bid farewell to the vanishing wonder of Babylon, we journey across the Atlantic to the heart of Mesoamerica. Here, nestled among the mountains and valleys of modern-day Mexico, lies the ancient city of Teotihuacan. Dating back to the first century CE, this city was once among the largest in the world, 
a thriving metropolis that was home to over 100,000 inhabitants at its peak. Its name, given by the later Aztecs, translates to the place where men become gods, a testament to the city's spiritual significance. Dominating the skyline of Teotihuacan are the Pyramid of the Sun and the Pyramid of the Moon, colossal structures that rival Egypt's pyramids in size and grandeur. These pyramids, along with the Temple of the Feathered Serpent, are aligned according to precise astronomical measurements, hinting at the advanced scientific knowledge of Teotihuacan's inhabitants. Yet, despite its grandeur and sophistication, much about Teotihuacan remains shrouded in mystery. We do not know the identity of its builders, nor the reason for the city's abrupt decline around the 7th century. The city was already a ruin by the time the Aztecs discovered it, yet they were so awed by its magnificence that they believed it was a place of gods. As we leave Teotihuacan, we are reminded of the enigmatic nature of history. Its majestic pyramids, silent under the Mexican sun, continue to guard their secrets, serving as a testament to the indomitable spirit of human ambition and the transient nature of empires. The echoes of the past resonate through these ancient stones, whispering tales of glory, mystery, and the inevitable passage of time. As we depart from the enigmatic city of Teotihuacan, our journey takes us back across the Atlantic to the fertile lands of Italy. Beneath the looming shadow of Mount Vesuvius lies the lost city of Pompeii. Once a bustling Roman city, Pompeii was frozen in time by the cataclysmic eruption of Vesuvius in 79 CE. The city was buried under a thick layer of volcanic ash, preserving it for future generations to discover. Over the centuries, archaeologists have painstakingly excavated Pompeii, revealing a cityscape frozen in its final moments. The streets, homes, and even the citizens of Pompeii, captured in their last moments, provide an unparalleled snapshot of Roman life. From the grand amphitheater to the humble bakeries, from the lavish villas to the graffiti scrawled on the walls, every corner of Pompeii tells a story. Yet, Pompeii also serves as a stark reminder of nature's power and unpredictability. The very disaster that destroyed Pompeii also preserved it, allowing us to peer through a window into the past. As we leave the silent streets of Pompeii, we carry with us a deeper understanding of the fragility and resilience of human life. The echoes of Pompeii, forever frozen in time, whisper tales of ordinary lives, extraordinary circumstances, and the relentless force of nature. As our journey continues, we traverse the vast landscapes of the Indian subcontinent to reach the state of Maharashtra. Hidden amidst the rugged hills of the Deccan Plateau, we find ourselves in front of the enigmatic Ellora Caves. This colossal wonder, carved out of the very heart of the mountain, is a testament to the architectural genius of ancient India. Dating back to 600, 1000 CE, the complex comprises 34 monasteries and temples, each a marvel of rock-cut architecture. The caves represent the epitome of Indian rock-cut architecture, with the grand Kailasa temple being the jewel in its crown. Carved out of a single rock, it is a monolithic masterpiece dedicated to Lord Shiva. The intricate carvings and sculptures adorning the caves depict tales from Hindu, Buddhist, and Jain traditions, reflecting the religious harmony of the time. As we explore the labyrinthine corridors, we marvel at the detailed sculptures, the sweeping archways, and the silent sanctums. Each cave, each carving, whispers tales of devotion, artistry, and sheer human will. The Ellora Caves, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, stand as a symbol of India's rich cultural heritage and architectural prowess. As we leave the shadowy confines of the Ellora Caves, we are left in awe of the artistic and spiritual legacy etched in stone by our ancestors. The stories told by the silent stones of Alora continue to echo through the ages, serving as a reminder of our shared human heritage and the timeless nature of our quest for spiritual understanding. Our next stop takes us to a remote volcanic island in Polynesia, known as Easter Island or Rapa Nui. As we step onto the island, we are greeted by the stoic gaze of the Moai, colossal stone statues that dot the landscape. These statues, known as Moai, are the legacy of the Rapa Nui people who inhabited the island between 1250 and 1500 CE. Carved from compressed volcanic ash, 
Each Moai is a monolithic marvel, with the largest standing at a staggering 33 feet high and weighing over 82 tons. The statues are believed to represent the ancestors of the Rapa Nui people, serving as guardians of the island. The exact methods and tools used to carve and transport these mammoth statues remain a mystery, adding to the allure of the Moai. As we wander amidst these stone giants, we marvel at the skill, determination, and reverence of the ancient Rapa Nui people. Each statue, with its enigmatic expression and imposing presence, tells a story of a civilization's deep respect for their ancestors and their environment. As we leave the silent vigil of the Moai, we are left with a sense of awe and wonder. The majestic Moai of Easter Island stand as a testament to human ingenuity, resilience, and the enduring power of cultural heritage. They continue to watch over the island, their silent presence a powerful reminder of our shared human history and the mysteries that still await discovery. As we leave the silent vigil of the Moai, our journey takes us next to the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, to the city of Chichen Itza, a powerful testament to the architectural and astronomical prowess of the Mayan civilization. Once a thriving city and a major focal point in the northern Maya lowlands, Chichen Itza was a significant economic powerhouse from the late Classic, 600-900 AD, through the Terminal Classic, 800-900 AD, and into the early portion of the post-classic period, 900-1200 AD. The city's most recognizable structure, the Kukulkan Pyramid, also known as El Castillo, stands as a grandiose symbol of the Mayans' intricate understanding of astronomy and their sophisticated calendrical system. This stepped pyramid has 365 steps, one for each day of the year, aligning with the sun's position during the spring and autumn equinoxes, in a display of architectural precision that leaves modern visitors in awe. Other notable structures include the Great Ball Court, the largest of its kind, where the Mayans engaged in a ritualistic ball game, and the Temple of the Warriors, adorned with intricate carvings and surrounded by a thousand pillars. The city, with its impressive structures and advanced astronomical alignment, showcases the Mayans' profound understanding of mathematics, astronomy, and architecture. As we leave the grandeur of Chichen Itza, we carry with us a sense of reverence for the Mayan civilization, their cosmic vision, and their architectural brilliance that continues to captivate and inspire us. As we bid farewell to the ancient Mayan city of Chichen Itza, we find ourselves in the heart of Rome, Italy, standing before the Pantheon, a marvel of Roman architecture. Constructed in 126 AD during the reign of Emperor Hadrian, the Pantheon, meaning Temple of All Gods, is one of the best preserved of all ancient Roman buildings and has been in continuous use throughout its history. Its most intriguing feature is the large dome with its famous hole in the top, known as the Oculus. The dome, which remains the world's largest unreinforced concrete dome to this day, was a significant achievement of Roman architectural engineering. The oculus, besides providing natural light, symbolizes the connection between the temple and the gods above. Inside the Pantheon, you find a remarkable space of perfect proportions. The diameter of the dome exactly equals the height of the building, creating a perfect sphere within a cylinder. This harmonious symmetry was intended to represent the beauty and perfection of the universe, a theme that resonates in many Roman buildings. The Pantheon also serves as a tomb. Among those buried here are the famous artist Raphael and several Italian kings. This architectural marvel, despite its age, continues to inspire and influence modern architecture with its innovative design and construction techniques. As we leave the Pantheon, we are reminded of the ingenuity and creativity of the Romans, their understanding of geometry, and their mastery of architectural engineering, which continues to awe and inspire us. As we step away from the Pantheon, our journey takes us to another Roman marvel, the Sistine Chapel. Nestled within the Vatican City, the Sistine Chapel is not just an iconic religious space, but also a testament to the artistic prowess of the Renaissance period. Its construction was completed in 1481, but it's the remarkable frescoes that cover every inch of the ceiling and walls that make it truly awe-inspiring. 
these were not part of the original structure, but were added between 1508 and 1512, under the patronage of Pope Julius II. The most recognized artist to contribute to this grand project was Michelangelo Buonarroti. His most famous work here is the ceiling painting, which includes the iconic scene of the creation of Adam, where God and Adam's fingers are almost touching. Michelangelo later returned to paint The Last Judgment on the altar wall, a massive fresco depicting the second coming of Christ and the final judgment of souls. Despite the passage of time and the wear of centuries, these paintings remain vibrant and full of life, a testament to the artist's skill and the enduring power of his vision. The Sistine Chapel is not just a chapel, but a gallery of some of the most significant art in Western civilization. It is a place where art, religion, and history converge to create a truly divine masterpiece. As we leave the Sistine Chapel, we carry with us a renewed appreciation for the power of human creativity and the enduring ability of art to touch our souls. As we leave the Vatican and its artistic treasures, we head east to Istanbul, where the Hagia Sophia awaits us. This architectural marvel, once a church, later a mosque, and now a museum, stands as a testament to the harmonious blending of Byzantine and Ottoman cultures. Built in 537 AD under the directive of Byzantine Emperor Justinian, the Hagia Sophia was the largest cathedral in the world for nearly a thousand years. Its central dome, majestically rising 55.6 meters above the ground, is a feat of engineering that still captivates today. The interior is adorned with mosaics of gold, silver, and glass tesserae, depicting Christian themes and figures, a testament to the artistic prowess of the Byzantine period. In 1453, with the Ottoman conquest of Constantinople, the Hagia Sophia was converted into a mosque. The Christian mosaics were plastered over, and Islamic elements such as minarets, a mihrab, and a minbar were added, infusing the structure with a new cultural identity. Today, the Hagia Sophia stands as a museum, its walls bearing the layers of its rich and diverse history. As we explore this architectural marvel, we're reminded of the fluidity of cultures and the shared human history that binds us all. Leaving the Hagia Sophia, we carry with us a sense of awe for the human ability to create, adapt, and endure across the ages. Our journey continues as we travel back to the cradle of Western civilization, Greece. Standing atop the Acropolis in Athens, the Parthenon has been a beacon of classical Greek architecture for over two millennia. Built between 447 and 438 BC, this ancient temple was dedicated to Athena, the patron goddess of Athens. Its construction, under the auspices of the statesman Pericles, marked the zenith of the city's power and influence. The Parthenon is a prime example of Doric architecture, its striking proportions embodying the ideals of Greek aesthetics. Its columns, standing tall and sturdy, have witnessed the passage of time and the changing faces of history. Inside, it once housed a colossal statue of Athena, crafted from gold and ivory, a testament to the grandeur of ancient Greek artistry. The Parthenon's journey through history is as dramatic as its architecture. It has served as a treasury, a Christian church, a mosque, and an ammunition depot, each transformation echoing the changing tides of history. Despite the ravages of time and conflict, the Parthenon stands defiantly, its ruined beauty a symbol of the enduring legacy of ancient Greece. As we leave this iconic symbol of classical antiquity, we are reminded of the indomitable human spirit that aspires to create, to endure, and to leave a lasting imprint on the sands of time. As we depart from the classical grandeur of Greece, we find ourselves in the vast expanse of Asia, standing before an architectural marvel that stretches as far as the eye can see. Welcome to the Great Wall of China, an emblem of resilience and fortitude, a symbol of an ancient civilization's desire to define its boundaries and protect its people. Built and rebuilt between the 5th century BC and the 16th century, this colossal edifice spans over 13,000 miles, weaving its way across mountains, deserts, and rivers. It is often metaphorically described as a dragon lying across the landscape, reflecting the wall's serpentine path. The Great Wall was constructed to protect the Chinese Empire from invasions, its watchtowers serving as the eyes and ears of the realm. 
But beyond this military function, the wall is a testament to the determination and endurance of those who built it, often at great personal cost. The Great Wall is not merely a physical barrier, but a psychological one as well, a line drawn in the sand by a civilization asserting its identity. As we trace the path of this winding dragon, we are reminded of the immense human capacity to create, to protect, and to endure. Leaving the echoes of the wall's ancient watchtowers behind, we carry forward the spirit of resilience etched into its ancient stones. As we leave behind the dragon-like Great Wall of China, our journey leads us to the lush tropical islands of Indonesia. Nestled amidst this verdant landscape is the world's largest Buddhist monument, the majestic Borobudur. A testament to human faith and perseverance, this colossal stone stupa was built in the 9th century during the reign of the Sailendra dynasty. Borobudur is a marvel of design, comprising nine stacked platforms topped by a central dome. The monument is adorned with over 2,700 relief panels and 504 Buddha statues, each telling a tale from the ancient Buddhist scriptures. As we ascend the monument's levels, we are taken on a spiritual journey from the world of desires to the world of formlessness, a metaphorical path to enlightenment. The history of Borobudur is as fascinating as its architecture. After centuries of glory, the monument was abandoned and hidden under layers of volcanic ash and thick jungle growth, only to be rediscovered in the 19th century. Today, it stands as a symbol of Indonesia's rich cultural heritage, attracting pilgrims and tourists from around the globe. As we leave the serene tranquility of Borobudur, we carry with us a sense of awe for the ancient's devotion and craftsmanship, etched in every stone of this spiritual monument. As our journey continues, we travel back to the golden sands of Egypt, where the enigmatic Sphinx of Giza stands as a silent sentinel over the pyramids. This colossal limestone statue, with the body of a lion and the head of a man, is one of the world's oldest and largest monuments, dating back to the reign of Pharaoh Khafre in the 26th century BC. The Sphinx, which means the terrifying one in ancient Greek, is shrouded in mystery and intrigue. Its original name, purpose, and the secrets it holds are yet to be fully unveiled, making it an enigma that continues to captivate archaeologists and history enthusiasts alike. The statue's weathered face, believed to be that of Khafre himself, has silently witnessed the rise and fall of civilizations, standing as an eternal testament to Egypt's grandeur and might. The Sphinx is also home to the infamous Dream Stela, a granite slab erected by Pharaoh Thutmose IV, which narrates a story of divine intervention and royal legitimacy. Today, the Sphinx continues to guard the Giza Plateau, bearing the marks of time and human curiosity on its stone visage. As we leave the Sphinx's gaze, we carry with us a sense of wonder and a thirst for unraveling the mysteries of our ancient past. As we bid adieu to the Sphinx of Giza, our journey takes us to the southwestern coast of Turkey, to the ancient city of Halicarnassus. Here once stood an architectural marvel, a monument so grand it was considered one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, the mausoleum at Halicarnassus. Erected as a tomb for Mausolus, a Persian satrap, and his wife Artemisia, it was a unique amalgamation of Greek, Egyptian, and Near Eastern architectural styles. This grand structure stood approximately 45 meters tall and was adorned with ornate sculptures and reliefs crafted by the finest artisans of the time. The term mausoleum originates from this very monument, forever linking it to all grand tombs. The mausoleum, unfortunately, did not stand the test of time. Today, only the foundation and a few fragments remain Yet these remnants provide us with valuable insights into the architectural prowess of the ancients. As we leave the site of the mausoleum, we carry with us a sense of awe for the grandeur that once was, and a poignant reminder of the impermanence of even the greatest of human creations. From the dawn of civilization to the Middle Ages, these ancient ruins offer a glimpse into the past, a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless march of time. They serve as a reminder of the rise and fall of civilizations, the ebb and flow of human history. Each ruin, with its unique architecture and stories, contributes to our understanding of humanity's shared heritage. To recap, we've journeyed from the world's first temple in Turkey to the largest religious monument in Cambodia, 
witnessed the architectural marvel of the Great Pyramids, pondered the mysteries of Stonehenge, marveled at the Roman Colosseum, and climbed the heights of Machu Picchu. Each of these ancient ruins whispers tales of bygone eras, offering a tantalizing glimpse into the past and sparking an insatiable curiosity about the world's shared heritage. Remember, history is not just a tale of kings and wars. It's a story of people, of societies, of the human spirit's indomitable will to create, to build, and to endure. As we gaze upon these ancient ruins, we are not just observers, but participants in the grand tapestry of human history. Let these ruins inspire you, for they are not merely stones and mortar, but symbols of humanity's resilience, creativity, and quest for knowledge.